Hey cyber recruits, did you want to uncover hidden data on emails, domains and more for completely free? Today I'm showing you how to set up Spiderfoot, a powerful open source intelligence tool that is beginner friendly and you can use this tool to see what information is out there about you. Hi there, my name is AJ and I've been in cybersecurity for the last nine years and on this channel we teach all things cybersecurity for beginners, so let's get into it. Now, this is not for creepy people, so if you are creepy, please click off this video. Also, the reason for these open source intelligence tools, you can use them to see what information is out there about you to protect yourself online. And it can also be used to generally help to find people as well. So what is OSINT? So OSINT or open source intelligence is just a fancy way of saying public data. It's all of the information that is floating around about us, about anyone, and I mean anyone, um, online and open to the public. And you just need to potentially know where to look. So today we're going to explore uh, and we're going to pull back the curtain on using a specific open source intelligence tool called Spiderfoot. So now that you understand what open source intelligence is, let's install Spiderfoot. So first up, I'm going to be using my Kali Linux virtual machine to install Spiderfoot. But you're probably wondering what Spiderfoot actually is and where to get it from. So Spiderfoot is a open source intelligence, threat intelligence tool. So this is a great tool that you can use on your resume and your CV for a cybersecurity project. Maybe you want to go for threat intelligence jobs. Well, this is where you're going to find Spiderfoot, the tool itself. And as you can see here, Spiderfoot automates open source intelligence for threat intelligence and mapping the attack surface for companies. So often it could be used uh, for companies to understand if their employees, for example, could be exposing too much publicly available information which could put the company at risk. So as you can see, Spiderfoot is an open source intelligence automation tool integrating with every single data source. So there's many, many data sources in here. Uh, it uses a range of methods for analysis as well. So now that you understand what it is, I'm going to show you how to install it. The first up then, you're going to want to download Spiderfoot. So you're going to go to here, download the zip file. Then once that's downloaded to your machine, you can then open a terminal like we've got here. You can CD into the downloads folder with this command. So CD uh, root directory, then downloads. Then when you do LS, you're going to see the zip file there. So you're going to want to unzip this Spiderfoot file uh, with unzip spiderfoot-master-zip. Hit enter. Then uh, do LS. You're going to want to CD into the Spiderfoot directory with this command here. And then you should see all of the files related to Spiderfoot sitting in this directory. You'll then be looking to run this command, which is Python 3, followed by the Spiderfoot Python file. And then we want to run it on localhost at port 5001. So we hit enter. So you may run into this error uh, where we'll just fix that first, because this means if you do see this, that it hasn't run correctly. So let's fix that first. And to fix this error uh, where it says no module named backports, we're going to do pip3 install backports.tar file. Hit enter and you're going to wait for it to go through the installation here. You'll say successfully installed backports tar file 1.2. Then we can again run Python 3 uh, followed by the Python file and then the local host and the port that we want. Hit enter. And we can see this just generated another error and that was because there is actually a dash L missing from the command prompt. Um, this is, needs to be there so that you can successfully have Spiderfoot running on the local host on this port. So we'll do that again to execute that. It'll, see, it'll show up as this, use Spiderfoot by starting your web browser, um, and it'll show that it's running on um, the local host and this port. So you can just right click, open this link, and then now you have successfully installed Spiderfoot. So congratulations. Now that you've got Spiderfoot set up, we're actually gonna run our first open source intelligence scan. So you go to new scan, as you can see here, you can enter a scan name. For this, we're just gonna call it test. Then it says scan target. So it's saying here that your targets can be one of the following and Spiderfoot will automatically detect the type based on the format that you've input. So you can put a domain name in here, IP address, host name, even Bitcoin address, usernames, email addresses. So there's many, many um, inputs that you can put in here. For example, uh, we're just gonna go with a email address and we're gonna do a test one, which is just bob at gmail.com. I hope you're not watching and you're not bob at gmail.com, uh, but we're just gonna run this as a test. 
Then we're going to do by use case. So this is just going to get anything and everything about the specific target, with, which is this email address. But you do have different modules and use cases here as well. Um, but for the basis of this video, our first scan is just going to be to get everything um, about the specific target. We're going to run that scan and then we can see it's popped up in here then saying test running and then we can just wait now for this scan to finish and if you are wondering if this tool is working you will be able to see it in the background from our terminal so as we can see here um, it's doing all of the searches in the background through our terminal searching various websites to look for information related to the target which in this case is an ip address so we'll just wait for that to complete and then we can review the report so now you can analyze the results and you can see what this can actually mean to your privacy. So you'll see that the scan is finished and it'll just, as we looked at, it'll do a search to try and find any information related to that target across the internet. So you'll be able to go in here then and see what it's actually picked up. So you can go into browse, so as you can see here, seen 34 times for accounts on external sites. You can go in, you can click in there and review the, the sites that it's actually located relating to that email address um, human name so it's potentially relating that email address to a legitimate person as well so there's a lot of information that you can pull out here it's discovered usernames related to that email address as well so the benefit of using this tool like i said at the start of the video is for your own personal safety to understand what information is out there about you but companies will also use this in an attempt to protect their employees because ultimately, if we can reduce the amount of information that our public facing employees are actually giving away, then it's only going to benefit the overall security of the company. Because ultimately, hackers will use tools like this to find information about employees and then try and target those employees in an attempt to actually hack a company. So there's great things that can be used for that as well. And it'll even piece this class together, all of the data points that it's located. So as always, please use this for legitimate purposes only. But again, it's also an amazing project that you can put on your resume, on your CV, if you're looking to go for those cybersecurity threat intelligence jobs. So to conclude then, you now understand what open source intelligence is. You understand how to install and use and run scans through Spiderfoot. And you now have another open source intelligence project to add to your resume and to your CV that is going to demonstrate your passion when going for cybersecurity jobs. Now, if you like this video and you're looking for more projects to add to your resume and your CV, go and watch this video next where I show you how to actually set up your own VPN at home. Thank you for watching. I'll see you over there.